In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set keyframes on objects and then animate them. Once you select an object, press N to bring up the item properties. As you can see, the location is at zero by default, the rotation is at zero, and the scale is at one. If I change any of these properties by pressing G, Y to move it, or R to rotate it, or S to scale it, the properties change. On the timeline, nothing happens. I can move the timeline and the object stays the same. But if I add a keyframe in Blender, and a keyframe is a point in time and a specific value, then I can set another keyframe and animate in between. In order to set a keyframe, select the object, select the time, in this case frame zero, make your changes, then press I. I keyframes every property in the default keying set. Then, to set another keyframe, first, move your timeline. Notice that everything turns green. That means that there is a keyframe set somewhere on the timeline, not on this frame, and the values have not changed. If I press S to scale, the scale values change. R to rotate, the rotate values change. But if I type G, X, only the X value changes because the Y and Z values haven't changed. I can then press I to set a keyframe. If you look at the top left of the screen, notice that collection cube is yellow. That means this particular frame has a keyframe. If I move one frame forward, notice that the values are all green because they haven't changed, but also I am not on a keyframe. Sometimes it can be easier to see at the bottom where you are. I still have this keyframe on frame 40 selected, but I'm not on frame 40. If I move to frame 40, then it becomes yellow again. Anywhere in between, the animation happens, and then back on frame zero, I'm on a keyframe. As you can see, now Blender keyframes in between these two positions. I can also key a specific property. For example, if I only want to key location and not rotation, I can first move my playhead to a position, then press G, Y, and then I can right click, insert keyframe. This will keyframe the X, Y, and Z. If I want to remove a keyframe, I can press Option or Alt I, and it will delete the keyframe. And so this can be helpful when you want to delete keyframes on an object. So now you can set simple keyframes by using the I command. We will talk about how to use the graph editor and set the interpolation of your keyframes, but this will get you started with making basic animations in Blender. Happy 3D modeling!